And you believing for a miracle. You're believing for a breakthrough. And the word of God comes back straight at you. Believe nothing shall be impossible to those that believe and be their woe. And his response to them was, Did I not say to you, Mary? Did I not say to you, Martha, that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Hey, listen to this one. Excuse me. I get excited. I got doing air guitar. This is much less. But it's better than spitting, isn't it? It works. So, watch this. Jesus sometimes doesn't turn up when things are bad. He turns up when they're impossible. And he's turned up today Mm. through this little hobbit from the Shire. Mm. And he's trying to tell you if you can believe, Mm. if you can believe, Mm. you will see the glory of God. If you're going to give him praise, give him praise in the house. refuses to go? Is it a debt that refuses to bow the knee to Jesus? Is it somebody in your family that just won't get saved? You've tried everything. You've put traps all over the house. (laughs) You've invited them to church and it seems they're getting worse. If you can't believe you will see the glory of God in their lives, I'm telling you. You know, in the 1960s, I know it's hard to believe looking at me, but in the 1960s, I don't work out, you know. It's just natural. I've got furniture disease. My chest falling down into my drawers. I need that from J. John. Anyway, so... But it's true for him, not for me. You know <laughs> and I was in the world famous rock band, Robbie Ray and the Jaguars. And uh, <laughs> we were huge in Bridget. And we, I was a professional rock singer, as you said, uh, for a number of years. And uh, my, uh, I got saved, and we, my brother carried on, and, and uh, he became huge in, uh, in Canada and stuff. And then unfortunately, got hooked on to cocaine and alcohol and the whole thing. Long story short, he's in his 50s and he's down in Thailand singing in a covers band uh, in a whole house. And he's got liver problems and uh, he's dying. And I witnessed to him, I, I, I prayed for him and but you know sometimes you, your family members, oh, because you nag them so much, oh, I'll I, I, I just say that. Yeah, the fact is, you know, I'm happy now. <laughs> right? And, and I, I, I thought, I don't think that he meant that. <laughs> and, and he was dying, and, uh, and he was in a hospital bed in Thailand, and, and, and he had a, maybe a week to live. And I said, Lord Jesus, this is my last of us here. I want my brother to be saved. I've said all I can say, but you know what your word says? Your promise is? That you would send, that I could actually pray for laborers to go into the harvest field. Lord, right now, I'm on the street in Thailand. I'm there, I've got maybe a couple of days left. I'm on the streets of Thailand. He's in a hospital, he's dying, he's practically unconscious. And I said, Lord, send a laborer to my brother. The following day, I'm walking down the street to, to, no, I was walking this way. I was walking down the street to Thailand. And, uh, and, uh, and this guy stopped me. This guy from America stopped me. And he says, are you Ray? Is that a good accent or what? Uh, I said, I am. He said, are you Robbie's brother? I said, I'm Robbie's brother. He said, my name is Aaron. I've been living here for six years. I'm a backslidden Christian. I've been doing things down here I'm ashamed of. I said, but why are you telling me this? He said, well, I know your brother well. I'm friends with him. I go to the club every night. And I'm not, uh, I'm ashamed to say the stuff I, I said, yeah, whatever. What, what, what? 
And he said, well, last night I was woken up from my sleep and a voice spoke to me and said, go down to Robbie because I want you to lead him to me. Wow. He said, Ray, he said, Ray, even though I'm backslidden, I recognize that voice. Mm. And he said, even when I was on fire for God, I never ever led anybody to Jesus. Now here I am, totally backslidden. I had to ring my pastor in America to find out what to do. I rang my pastor up, he freaked out. <laughs> he, I wrote it down, there, there, the, the thing. Then I go down last night, I go down last night to the hospital and I grab your brother's hand and I said, Robbie, if you can hear me, just squeeze my hand. And he squeezed my hand and he said, Ray, I led your brother through the sinner's prayer with him squeezing my hand. I'm going to see my brother in heaven one day. Come on, give Jesus some praise here. Now, God, if you believe, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this up right now. We're going to pray. But I want to sing a song to you. It was written by one of our worship leaders. And it's such a beautiful song for this part of the service. And you know, for you, for you right here, it may be, the miracle may be, Ray, I want to believe in Jesus for the first time. I want to give my life to Him. Well, listen to this song, and then I'm going to back and pray.
every head bowed, every eye shut right now, Holy Spirit, I ask you that you give me every lost person in this building. Every single one that cannot even believe that you can change their life. Lord, I'm asking you right now. The gospel is the power of God unto salvation to those that believe. In Surrey and in Kent, those of you watching there too. The miraculous power of God can go into operation in your life. The emptiness in your life. The questions you have. All that junk that keeps you awake at night. That causes you to get smashed because you want to escape. All that stuff can go away if you just believe. I wonder is there anyone here this morning that is prepared to say, Ray, you know what? I'm checking all my head stuff out. God's touched my heart. I feel like a child. I feel like your little granddaughter. Seeing Rudolph fly over the roof. It's amazing. It's fantastic. But you know, Ray, I'm prepared to believe it. With every head bowed and every eye shut, just before I hand back to Gary, I'm going to count to three. And when I count to three, if you are here and you say, Ray, I want to believe in Jesus. I want to give my life to him. Ray, I believe it. Somehow, this morning, I believe that my life can be changed. I'm going to count to three. I want you to put your right hand up. Keep it up for a few seconds and then I'll see and I'll pray. And then someone will come and give you a little booklet or something before you go home. Here we go. One, two, three. Would you raise your hand, please, if you want to give your life to Christ? Yes. 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 Up in the balcony, I see the hands. Wonderful. Yes, I see them. I see them. There's some at the back here. Yes, there's three right in the front, right here. There's another one on my right. There's, 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 there's a couple on my right-hand side. I see it. Come on. Come on. Is there any more? Lift your hand up. Let me see it. Yes, yes, on my left I see, yes, 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 there's some more on the balcony, yes, I see it. Oh, Holy Spirit, you are amazing. Lord, right now I thank you for the miracle of salvation. I pray for every single one with hands raised and I pray, thank you, as they believe the miraculous power of God is now going into operation and I thank you, they will never be the same again and those that are believing for breakthrough. Father, thank you for testimonies, thank you for news that miracles have taken place all because we believe. And everybody said, Amen and give the Lord a big hand clap.